In this one, we're going to be looking at propeller heads recycle and um, how it can sort of detect and export individual hits. Um, and if you don't have recycle, the, the tutorial after this, we're going to be looking at how you can do a similar thing in Ableton, although it is a bit more long-winded. But I'll show you this first, um, just to give you an idea of what you can do. So I've loaded up um, one of the tribal loops that we did for the tutorial. So that'll be included in your resources pack. And what we want um, to do is for recycle detect uh, the individual hits and then export them all into one folder. So you can imagine if you're, um, you know, you've got a sample CD of loops and you want to cut all those individual hits out and save them to load into the, the drum rack or into impulse. Um, recycle is a great way to do that. So the first thing we need to do is adjust our sensitivity control and hopefully it should pick up pretty much all the beats. And you can see there if I go too far it starts picking up in between the beats. So we, we just want to get it to where we think it's got the most of them and we won't have to add too many by hand. And what we can do is click through and make sure none have double beats. Okay, so there's a couple there that do that one there and that one there. And we can just get our pencil tool and draw them in manually. Depending on how sort of slushy the loop is and how well defined the, the attack points on the drum hits are, um, will depend how well Recycle will be able to pick them up. So sometimes you have to sort of draw more hits in than you would like, and it could be a bit time consuming, but nine times out of 10, it's pretty good for just automatically picking them out. So the next thing we have to do is to enter in how many bars there are. So we basically just count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there we go, two, two bars of four there. So we can put in two and then we hit our preview button, which is this button here. And it automatically detects the tempo, which is 127 BPM. So when we play this back, you can hear what Recycle is doing. It's basically separating all these individual drum hits into uh, individual bits. And this used to be the way uh, we used to time stretch stuff before the likes of Ableton came along and it had warping. If you wanted to sort of change the, the tempo of a loop, you would throw it into Recycle and then save it out as a Rex file and then you could use it in Cubase or one of the other programs at any tempo. So we're not really using it for that anymore, but what we can do is get each of these individual beats and expect export them so <clears throat> once we got it all analyzed we can just hit file export and we'll pick a a folder tribal samples and we'll just shorten the name there and hit save. And it also gives you the option to export it with a MIDI file. Um, it does this in the similar way that um, Ableton works where it has the MIDI parts and it has a bank of samples and it's sort of triggering the samples. So I'll be showing you that, that in the next video anyway. So I'll export this. And now if we go to our desktop, look on our tribal samples and our recycle export, We've got all these hits individually. So it's a great way of really quickly building up a, a collection of individual drum samples. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can do something similar in Ableton.